It's Romantic Tarot from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome, guys. So let's start right away. We're going to go from Scorpio through Libra. All the zodiac signs. These are romantic predictions for starting at next weekend. From next weekend and a little bit beyond. These are romantic forecasts. So I'm going to do a full spread of uh, romantic messages for each of the zodiac signs. And then there's an, a link to an extended video below that will give you insight into who is coming toward you. So let's get into this. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries, everybody. The cards are pre-shuffled. They've been meditated on. And of course, prior to that, they've been sound cleansed. Um, just to make sure that everything is as pure as pure and the messages coming through are pure and filled with love and truth, love and truth. So, um, we're going to start with Scorpio. Scorpio, let's start at the top of the minute. What are the two cards that came out for you? Choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. Who are you going to choose to love? Are you going to choose to love yourself? You have to choose to love yourself first, Scorpio. And I know that people don't like to hear that, but it's true. Um, I think it's more about honesty, though, isn't it? Because we don't, and, and it's, it's about knowing what love really is. It's not looking in the mirror and doing your best Billy Crystal saying, you look marvelous. That's conceit, that's arrogance, that's vanity, that's not love. Throw those aside. Love. Choose love. That's connectivity, that's connection. That's don't live in isolation. Live connected. You know, dare to care, even when it doesn't make sense to do it. Love. Open up that heart of yours, it's a big one. This is also a card that says, you've been dreaming. You've been dreaming about somebody and they've been dreaming about you. This has been something that you've been dreaming about for probably your whole life. This is dream, 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 dream. Dreams are deceptive. Let's cast aside the fairy tale version of dreams. And let's talk about what dreams are. Dreams are you talking to yourself, trying to work through your own problems. And daydreams and fantasies are you trying to escape from the tedium as well as the challenges of every day and the wonderful and very addictive aspect of fantasy is that they are a hundred percent you. So if you've fallen in love with somebody that is a fantasy, then you've fallen in love with just another aspect of yourself. If you want to fall in love with another person, you've got to cast that aside, not cast yourself aside, but cast the expectation aside. That in your fantasy world, that's how things are going to go. Because remember, in fantasy, you can alter time. In fantasy, you can alter space. In fantasy, you can change from one person to another without being a cheater. No consequences, no obligations. But we all know that the real world is something different than that, don't we? So it really isn't about fantasy. It's about love. It's about connecting to people and, and seeing their humanity and allowing them to see yours. It's time to release negativity. It's full moon in Scorpio. This is the destined card for you. Perfect. This is your time and your chance to release whatever fantasy you've been holding on to. Because there's something about this fantasy that's been keeping you isolated and dreaming instead of connected and living. So Scorpio, this coming weekend, your inspiration or your motivation will be to vacation in reality, to allow yourself to be fully, feet, uh, feet firmly planted on the ground. Um, it's not about that dull, boring, colloquial use of the word reality. It's that yes, you will really be loved. Yes, you will really be connected with all the pain and all the imperfection, that that's something that you can accept, not just in others, but also in yourself. And this is the time to rectify it. The reckoning, if you will. The reckoning of, you know, fantasy versus truth. Fantasy versus connection. Am I really connected? 
is my fantasy getting in the way of what I really, really want of my happiness? It's a good question to ask yourself this week, Scorpio. That this coming weekend, that will be your challenge. Will you once again escape into fantasy or will this time around you be able to choose love and let go of all that you can control, which is your fantasy, and accept the beauty that is the imperfection of reality? That's your coming impending challenge. Let's move on to Sagittarius. 5939. Look to your inner strength. Sagittarius, maybe you've been keeping your eyes on somebody or they've been keeping their eyes on you. Maybe it's just you you need to, to look at and see. Who are you? Do you know who you are? Do you know yourself? Is this a love reading? Yes, it is. What does it have to do with love? Love begins inside of you. So this has to do with much, much to do with <clears throat> being unsettled or being uncertain and not knowing if somebody that you admire actually admires you back and keeping an eye on them through the internet, through online pictures and memories instead of actually picking up the phone and contacting them because something's missing or some, um, or yeah, what, what's missing is um, that sense of self, that sense of self-love. No, no, no. What's missing is um, the willingness to take a risk. That's what's missing. The willingness to take a risk. Somebody's watching, somebody's waiting. Now this could be you, this could be them. This is reversed and this could be reversed energy, right? But either way, Sagittarius, this is a, do you want to make a move or do you want to just continue to look from a distance, to look from afar? Or do they want to make a move? Do you know that somebody or you think that somebody is looking at you and wanting to make a move? If this is you in a relationship, this is you want you or your spouse wants to talk to you about something, but they're afraid to approach you. They're almost like happy to see you living in this ideal as opposed to confronting an issue that needs to be confronted. You scare somebody, somebody's scared to talk to somebody about something. Somebody's scared to talk to somebody that they love or somebody that they want to love. Now remember, what does it say? Old saying, love isn't love till you give it away. Because love is connection. And so, there's no such thing as unrequited love. Unrequited love is either love, love, real love, that there is a connection with and it's just not doesn't include sex and one of you wants to include sex and the other doesn't want to have sex and so one of you said thinks so you don't love the other person which is bullshit or it's not love at all it's just a fantasy because you don't even know that person so do you want um sagittarius do you want to continue to admire and continue to look or do they want to continue to admire and look or make the move because this card is saying awakening, understanding. This is the weekend to do it. Don't let pride get in your way. Wow, what a, what, a, what a perfect pairing. This is fire energy, Leo energy, a sense of self. But something is getting in your way. Let loose of your sense of self. And this tells me that it is, in fact, you, Sagittarius. Letting your pride or letting your ego or letting your fear get in the way of something that could be very beautiful, even if it's just freedom. Freedom from the torture that is not trying and not taking a chance. What is it that you fear? What is it, Sagittarius, that you think you'll be rejected? Or is it you, you fear taking, uh, taking responsibility for certain behaviors? If it, there's somebody that you want to apologize to or say sorry to, what is it that you fear? I don't know. I don't know what it is. You could have done nothing wrong. You could be somebody just admiring somebody across the room and not being able to find the nerve to talk to them. But really, that's pride. Really, that's, but what if they reject me? What if they do? It's a hell of a lot better than standing in the corner and not doing anything. So don't let your fears or your pride get in the way. Whatever it is that's blocking you, it's you. It's you that's blocking you. Take yourself out of the equation and just go straight forward. Next weekend, that's the weekend. 
Sagittarius. Let's move on to Capricorn. 1006. Capricorn. Spiritual connection. Wow. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. What is that connection? There's an energy here. There's a feeling. There's an intuition. And so, Capricorn, this coming weekend, I want you to start to enjoy your intuition, appreciate your intuition, and believe in your intuition. Because it's calling you to do something that will connect you to somebody that will be significant in your life. And I feel like they're already on the other side of it. <clears throat> so there is this energy, Capricorn, of basically making a decision. Making a decision to trust your intuition. To take it, to let it lead you where it wants to go. If you wanted to try something new. You wanted to try a new bar. You wanted to try a new dating app. You wanted to try a new class. You wanted to try a new job. You need to follow your intuition because that intuition is connecting you to a love that you've wanted for a very long time. And if you believe in it, even if it doesn't make sense, keep going. Keep going because there is something on the other side of it. You're being led there by somebody else's desire and they're being led to you by the same. You're finding each other right now. You will be on the right side. So next week is this week of follow your intuition. Start the process. Even if it's something that's a little bit odd for you, start the process because this is a connection that defies sense, Desi defines reality, <laughs> defies reality. And it's so interesting that Scorpio is being told to let go of fantasy and appreciate what is in really, really in front of them. And you're being asked to not necessarily, this isn't fantasy, but trust what you would call fantastical, which is your intuition. But you're a very intuitive creature. And I said that to you in your reading this week. Very intuitive. And it's your intuition. What I say, your reading for this week, your zodiac reading for this week, Capricorn, was um, a life-saving leap. And that was a leap of faith. And that's what you're going to need to take to get to the love that you want. A win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. This is love coming, an equal, a balance. In other words, there is an equal here. There is a release. There is somebody that will have as much energy and commitment as you. You will not be doing this all by yourself. There is a, a, an ability to let go. There is an opportunity, excuse me, to be able to let go. Because what's on the other side is a perfect balance. You don't have to worry. You don't have to wait. You don't have to suffer anymore. Capricorn, what's coming to you is an equal. Somebody who is an equal to you. This is also an energy of love. Libra is ruled by Venus as is, as is Taurus. So this is an equal love. A love that will allow for release and a lot of struggle and a lot of stress. Uh, a lot of maybe a lot of time spent alone, a love that will help balance out all of that hurt and all of that pain that you have been experiencing trying to find somebody. Stop trying to find somebody and start trusting your intuition. Stop looking and start believing. Start taking that leap of faith because the ultimate balance is coming up. It is an equalizer. It is an equal. And this is actually what you've wanted if you are now ready to be a, an able to trust and take that leap of faith. That's a beautiful reading. Uh, but they all are. They all are beautiful readings. Capricorn, if you're looking for who's coming towards you, that link is below. Um, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aquarius, what is your message in love, Aquarius? Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. You've been keeping something from somebody. You've either been keeping your feelings or your true self from them. And it's sad because the truth is they know it and they've resigned themselves to it. This is a need to talk or have a deep conversation to unmask who you are and reveal who you really are. It's not love if it's not honest. It may be attraction, but ask yourself, who are you attracted to? 
Are you attracted to the truth of somebody? How can you be if they haven't even shown you the truth? So Aquarius, this is about taking a stand for the sake of the truth. And it's interesting that this is your card because you are the truth. You are the water bearer. The water bearer is not the water signs. It's not emotions. Water bearer is the bearer of truth. Water is truth, right? And maybe that's why emotions are always associated with water because emotions are honest. You know, they don't make sense. They're not practical, but they're always honest. So what somebody is feeling is what's really true. And maybe that's what you're picking up on. That what they are posing on the outside doesn't add up to what you can feel beneath that surface, Aquarius. And you want to get to the bottom of that. Or maybe it's what you need to get to the bottom of. It's yourself. Maybe that's what this is. Is being real with what you feel. Being real with how you represent yourself. Because right now you're hiding. Right now you're holding back. And right now, it's a bunch of gameplay because you're not even looking at each other. One of you is looking through a mask and the other has their back turned. So that is not the way that you get to true romance. This is an offer of love, but this is somebody that doesn't want to be revealed. Are you offering love and yet not offering vulnerability? Because those two things don't go hand in hand. Love is vulnerability because you have to be vulnerable to be connected. The mask has to come off for the love to come through. Hold on. A time for healing. Yes, isn't it? And this is one of the most beautiful cards in the deck. I love the colors here. And we just have this new moon, right? And Capricorn coming through this beautiful new chance and new start to let go and be honest with everything that we are and welcome in. Is that what the problem is, Aquarius? That you want love, but you aren't willing to admit it. Or that you're in a situation that you don't love, where there's not love. It's loveless. It's opulent and it's luxurious, but it's not real love. And it's, it's making you feel empty inside. What is your truth, Aquarius? Because next weekend, you're going to be asked to really swim in your own waters, that own truth, the real truth of your situation. And if you really want to be loved, you're going to really have to show it to somebody. And if you really, really, really have been hiding feelings from somebody, you're going to have to share it with them. This is the time because you have this opportunity for something new to come into you. But this is the price you pay. This is the key that you turn to unlock that cup that is ready to be filled. So Aquarius, it's, you, it's up to you. This is a decision, definitely. But it's also a truth. And I think that you're driven by the truth. So how far you will, will you allow the truth to drive you? Will you allow the truth to drive you to be vulnerable, which is what's required for a new beginning next weekend? Ooh, not easy stuff. Aquarius, if you are Aquarius singles or not, the link for the extended, which is who is coming toward you, is below. Pisces. Actually, I think it was like, let me see. Pisces, let's see what cards came out for you. So far, they've all been perfect. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Maybe you're spending time at home, spending time with your mother, spending time with your family, spending time being a mother. Next weekend, it's important if you're welcoming love into your life to be surround, to surround yourself next weekend with people who you know love you, with people who you know care about you. It will be essential. One, it will be essential for how you feel inside to be right and balanced and feel secure and safe and feel the happiest and the best of yourself. Surrounding yourself with people who you love will bring out the best in you. The best in you will attract the right person for you. Or you're just surrounding yourself and spending time at home with those people that you know that you already love. Because honestly, it's what you need. It's what you need to be able to heal yourself, to feel yourself, to feel good, replenish yourself. It's what you need right now and it's what you want to give to yourself. This is also a card of female fertility. A divine feminine card that speaks to being receptive, 
receiving. Allow people to give to you. Allow yourself, your own cups to be filled this coming weekend and a little bit beyond. Allow it. Allow your cup to be filled. Allow it, allow it, allow it. Can't say that enough. And I do think that this has to do with being around family. It could also have to do with being fertile and getting pregnant, literally having yourself filled with somebody's seed where you'll be very, very fertile and it will actually conceive next weekend. So if you have been looking and using fertility treatments, this is definitely the weekend to take your temperature and make sure that you're in places where you can get busy when the temperature is correct because this will be a very female fertile time, Pisces. But overall, this is an energy of being in a comfortable place where things are temperate, where things will care for you and nurture you. Allow yourself to be cared for. Allow yourself to be nurtured. I think I just saw something in this card. Allow yourself to be cared for and nurtured. And ooh, be ready to receive love because it's coming. Next weekend, there will be an abundance of it. And to surround yourself in a situation where you're already surrounded by friends will assure that this is good love and real love. Let's see your other card, Pisces. You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. And that's why you need to be around the people who love you. Why? To be constantly reminded of the fact that you are good enough. This is essential. It just confirms this card, the same energy I was picking up and that virginal energy, that healing, helping, nurturing. Let people nurture you, Pisces. Let them nurture you and be around people who you know you can trust and rely on next weekend. That is absolutely essential to welcome in a good love, which means you are going to be extremely attractive, Pisces. You're going to be radiating a sexual chemistry, but you have the tendency because you have the goodness that attracts people who will parasite off of you vampires and you know it and that's your um that's your defense that's your shield to be around people who you know love you so they can shield you and protect you from the bullshit and make yourself remember your value because if you can't remember your value pisces the people who love you will remind you of your value so that you don't get trapped with somebody who just wants to be a vampire, but instead you allow in more real and true love. And I feel like since you're so willing to love people, you're so willing to give yourself away, this is the danger next week. So be around those people who fill you up and protect you and will remind you that you are good enough. So if you bring home a loser that is just no good for you, they'll tell you right away and believe them. But also, because you're feeling good and you're being reminded how valuable you are, you will be radiating at a vibration that will allow you to attract a good person too. Trust your family and friends. Let them heal you, let them fill you, so you don't walk out as an empty cup. Let them heal you, let them fill you, so that you can go and meet somebody else who is filled as well. Ooh. Pisces, if you're curious about who is coming toward you, that link is below. Aries. Aries, the love message is coming in for you this coming weekend. Ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. You need some guidance. Maybe you've been having some questions or questioning your love affair or your romance. Maybe you just don't understand why things are behaving the way that they are. Ask for help. Who do you trust? Who is a trusted advisor? Somebody that you can lean on and somebody that can help you. Talk to them. Talk to a third party or talk to the person that you're in love with. But I really do feel like this is outside advice that you need, to be totally honest with you. This is also my May-December or May-November relationship. So you could be getting into a relationship where there is a major age gap. And we will confirm that in the extended to see if... Um, who's coming toward you. Um, but this is trust your partner's wisdom. And I feel like you got this card not too long ago. Trust your partner's wisdom. Trust them. Trust their knowledge and trust their intuitions and trust their instinct. Talk to them about it and let them explain it. If you don't understand 
then this is a calm, beautiful week of somebody who wants to be supportive of you that is more than happy to explain and to help you understand what's, what's difficult for you. So go ahead and use your words and reach out because that's what they're there for. Listen, if you can't lean on the person that you love, then you don't really, then they're not, it's not really love, right? So this is your opportunity to see that you absolutely can trust and rely on them. This is um, a feeling of being vulnerable, which I know is difficult for you, but also a feeling of maybe you're just waking up this weekend to realizing how much you need somebody, how much you really care for the person that you're with, or if you're single, how much you really, really, really want to be in a partnership with somebody. So this is getting real and getting to your truth by allowing yourself to be vulnerable. There's a lot of that this weekend. There's a lot of that this coming weekend. Communication is key. Uh, these cards could not have been more synchronized. It's crazy. But what was I just talking about? Talk, speak, use your words and ask for help. Somebody is listening and they're receptive. Be ready to, as in a new moon, receive their advice and listen to them. Don't block what they have to say. Open up the doors for communication because it's so essential this coming weekend. And I feel like this is you. You are going to be so receptive to feeling. You're going to be so receptive to listening to somebody. And maybe this is a level up in your relationship or your look, your search for a relationship is that you now know just how really vulnerable you are and how much you really, really are ready to just receive love and have somebody fill you up. So listen, talk and listen. Remember, I keep saying listen, but that's the receptive side of communication, right? Aries, if there's a conflict, if there's something up, ask, ask and receive that information listen to your partner, listen to what they have to say. This could also be a message that they're going to want to have to talk to you about something and it's going to require you to be receptive and open. But this is definitely you being able to receive love and receive um, messages of love, okay? And, and uh, vulnerability. Be comfortable in the presence of somebody's emotions next weekend. Interesting. Aries, if you are curious about who is coming towards you, who this person is, that link to the extended is below. Now we have Taurus. Okay, Taurus. Cards have already been selected, so let's see what energies are coming in for you. Taurus. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. This is the star card and this is the truth card. It's my Aquarius card. I don't know if you're dealing with Aquarius. That can be confirmed later on. In the, it, that can be confirmed in the extended who's coming towards you. That link is below, Taurus. But this is the energy of something in the works for you. A process. A person is almost coming into being and being built. Your dream, your dreams come true, your wishes come true. Something that you have manifested then is actually get coming into life. It's hearing you. It's heard you, Taurus. Um, your, yes, your wishes have been heard. So will they be granted? This is 1-7. One, 1-7, seven. One, seven, 17. 7 plus 1 is 8. This is destiny. It's in infinity it's one step beyond creation which is eternity something that has no end and has no beginning it is eternal so this is an eternal love maybe a past life situation somebody from your past perhaps that is coming back an extension of that immortality so i feel like it is a past life connection I don't think that you know this person or have been in their presence yet and if you are in a very happy love affair then this is being honest with somebody, being truthful, and seeing that they are your dream come true, recognizing and acknowledging out loud that this person has basically saved you and taken care of you and changed your life and loves you in a way that improves who you are and your situation every single day. But this is a healing and cleansing and a wish come true, a wish come true. So what is it that you have been wishing for? What is it that you have had patience with? Be understanding and be gentle. 
listen and receive the truth. Somebody is going to tell you the truth. So if you receive an offer of love this coming weekend, guess what, Taurus? It's true. It's honest. Nobody's deceiving you. You can trust or rely on whoever you meet or whoever you're with this coming weekend. Their energy is sincere. A new romantic cycle begins. Wow. Oh, how perfect are these two cards? Be patient. So you have waited. This is something that you've waited for for a very long time. You have waited and Taurus, you have manifested. And that means that you have prayed. And that means that you have spoken your desires out loud. And that means that you have at least sometimes devoted yourself to meditating and concentrating and putting yourself into the right vibration. Well, it's going to start paying off. This is you receiving love, a new love coming in, a dream, a wish, a wish, a dream come true. Taurus, this is a dream come true. So love is coming toward you if that's what you've been wishing for. And it's here. It's This is the moment. Next weekend into next week, this is a very open and... Um, Lots of potential, lots of potential. That's all I can say. The energy is ripe for your true love to find you. So be honest and trust people because the truth is coming right at you and it's the love that you've always wanted. Wow. I bet everybody would have wanted that reading. Like I said, if you're curious about the person coming towards you, that link to the extended is below. And just so that you know, the extended video has all of the zodiac signs too, so it's really easy to cross watch. Now we go on to Gemini. Okay. Gemini, act as if your partner is already here. Have a good time and live it up. Dance and sing and play and enjoy yourself. And if you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with. That's what this card is saying. Love who you're with. You know, it doesn't even necessarily mean that you're in a long-term relationship. Next weekend, it just means that enjoy your surroundings. Have a one-night stand. Pick somebody up. Whatever it is. But it's not so crass as all that, Gemini. What it's saying is enjoy the joy and the, the radiance that you will produce in just really indulging in who you're with right now is going to actually call in the love that you really want. So right now, the person that you're with may not be the person that you've idealized, may not be your ideal, may not be your dream come true, but there is a power in loving them. And maybe, maybe some of you will discover that they're more right for you than you thought and that the person that you've always wanted and wished for is a whole heck of a lot closer than you could have ever imagined. They could actually be the person who's already in your arms. This is the number 37. Three plus seven is 10. And 10 is the number of completion and then new beginnings. So you have finished a cycle. You have finished a journey. You have finished, um, maybe you have finished a fantasy. Whatever it is, allow something to come to an end and hopefully it will be that longing in your heart that says you have to ache in pain and still worry and wonder of if when somebody is coming to you. No, you don't. Somebody is right in front of you that is wonderful. And I think that you're going to see the wisdom in being able to appreciate and receive love from the person that's currently with you as opposed to constantly looking for something else. Now... Be bold and make the first move. Ooh, you know, leave it up to you guys. The first card of contrast. But this is, listen, go up to that person that you see across the bar. Ask that person to dance. Um, if you go out next weekend to a restaurant, smile at a stranger, buy them a, buy them a drink, buy, buy them a cocktail. It's on you. It's on you to make the first move. And you're not going to have problems with this. This is so true to your nature to be able to strike up a conversation with a stranger even if they're not somebody who looks like or who looks like somebody that you think you want to be with they're not going to look like the person that you want to be with but they are going to be a wonderful person to enjoy this moment with and i do feel you in the moment i feel you opening yourself up to many maybe many different people around you 
having different options and really loving the feeling of the dance floor beneath your feet or just enjoying the moment wherever you are. Maybe you're on a sailboat, maybe you're in a classroom, but really being focused and living in the present right here, right now, which is what air signs are so wonderful at and seeing, making the move and because you see the value in what's in front of you right now. I think there's part of you that just wants to be living in the moment right here, right now. And you're going to get your wish. Like this is exactly the right time to just let yourself go and not think of the future and forget about the past. Ooh, Gemini. If you are curious about who's coming towards you, that link is the extended and it's right below in the description box. Gemini, we move on to Cancer. Cancer. Okay, Cancerians. Always hard for me to be objective with this reading. Here we go. Be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. Oh, Cancer. The key to you being loved is to you loving yourself first. Loving yourself as in seeing the beauty in who you are, being your goofy, unconventional self, being that person who you think most of the time you think people won't be impressed by. And so what do you do? What do you do is you say, yes, what do you need? Yes, what do you need? Because you think the only way anybody will love you is if you do everything that they tell you to do or you agree with them and you're agreeable and you're always shaking your head and saying, no, that's enough. Now is the time for you, if you really want love, if you want true love that's going to last you, get real and get brave. And be that awkward person. Be that person and accept the beauty of who you are. This is you almost refusing an opportunity, an offer of love, because, oh, I don't think I'm good enough for that person. There's no way I'm good enough for that. Oh, I'm too, I'm too shy. I don't want, don't let them see me. Oh my God, no, no, there's no way that, that she's smiling at me. Why? Be your true self this week. Be your true self this coming weekend. Be true to who you are and stand for who you are. But it's not about an announcement. It's not about a demonstration. It's about self-value, knowing you don't have to give yourself away. And yes, of course, that person is looking at you. And yes, you are, in fact, good enough. Pisces got a similar, a, this is water signs. Wow, Pisces got a similar message, right? Be, be, be able to heal yourself and surround themselves with people who really love them. That will help them out a lot. For you, this is more of a almost just the opposite of Scorpio. Instead of trying, instead of always getting lost in fantasy, you're always trying to be somebody's fantasy. Stop. You burp, you fart, you make mistakes. Your smile's a little bit crooked and maybe you have a, a chip in one of your ears from when your dog bit you when you were five. All of those things make you unique. They make you authentic. They make you you. You need to stop hiding who you are if you really want the person who you are meant to be with. I know how difficult this is because as soon as you meet somebody who interests you, what do you need? What do you need? What do I need to be for you? You need to be yourself so that you can attract the right person instead of the wrong one with the right face. Emotions are running high. Oh, I see. Oh, Cancerians. This could be you in a relationship and your authenticity clashing with what you've pretended to be for too long. This could also be, um, this could also be you feeling trapped, feeling like, look, like this is almost you looking at yourself. It's like, how did I lose myself? How did I get so far away from who I am? Maybe it's just to keep this relationship that you don't actually belong in. Maybe it's to get somebody's attention that doesn't actually deserve it. What are you doing to yourself and how much have you sacrificed? This is about you being true with who you are. Even if it means 
in some of your eyes, the worst case scenario, which means risking the relationship that you're in, but be who you are, be what you really need. I think you've been keeping it from somebody for too long. And right now it has to come out. And guess what? If the bow breaks and the cradle will fall and it was not meant to be. And that's something that you have to accept in order to get to where and who you really want, which is probably what you were trying to make this person into by being whatever they needed them to be. It's like just being with somebody instead of being with the right person and you are losing yourself. You're feeling the, these emotions that, that are building up inside of you, Cancer, are because you've lost yourself. You're losing yourself. And parts of you are starting to eke out and slip out and push push out despite and you're like oh I don't know where that came from yes you do it came from this is who you really are maybe you really are a bitch maybe you really are selfish maybe you really are a slob and maybe you really are beautiful either way you've been hiding it you've been hiding it to be for somebody else's benefit to be somebody else's fantasy and now it's all starting to slip out because the emotions are going to be too intense next week you're not going to be able to hide what you really feel. And Cancer, this is life-saving. This is almost like the tower coming into your life emotionally and helping you out. Helping you. Because it's releasing you from something that you probably should have let go of a while ago. FYI, this is the full moon coming through. This is a release of you and who you really are. And I'm just warning you, it may cause conflicts in your current relationship if you're in one or it may cause conflicts with somebody that you were trying to court or wanted to be interested in you but if is it really you that's the truth that's coming out those are emotions and you're going to share at the very least you're going to share who you really are with somebody and it's going to come out in a huge download oh cancerian if you're curious about who you're dealing with next weekend or a little bit after, the link is below. That information is in the extended who's coming towards you and that link is right below. Leo, 42, 12. All right, Leo, what is this energy coming out for you? What is it? What is it? What is it? Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. You got this card last week too. This is still being about being benevolence, about love, about reaching out. Reaching out to somebody who may be a little bit diminutive and not exactly what you normally are interested in. But it's not about that, is it? It's about doing something kind, being in the act of charity and doing something good that really isn't about you except that it makes you happy. This is going to lead you to a golden opportunity for love and romance with somebody who is extremely impressive. And once you uncover and look underneath all of the things, all of that, um, you know, all of that, that hiding, all of that camouflage, you're going to discover somebody of true beauty beneath. And I know that you like true beauty. You know, it could very well be that you like a lot of flashiness, but you also really appreciate authentic beauty. You know, all of the glamour and all of the makeup that this is about you seeing true beauty. That's what it's about, Leo, about you having sort of those that X-ray vision into being able to see somebody's really true potential and, and how beautiful they are. Maybe they're hiding. Maybe they don't know who they are, you know, or how beautiful they can be. You see it. This is you spotting somebody whose kindness stands out to you whose uh, humanity and humility stands out to you so that they can't hide themselves, they can't camouflage, then this is somebody who's not necessarily trying to pretend to be somebody else. They just don't want a lot of attention. And I think that that is what's really turning you on. This is an energy of, of falling in love with somebody before they even know that you're looking at them. <laughs> Um, admiring somebody and their behavior, which is the one most wonderful thing to, to really fall in love with, is somebody's behavior, is what somebody has to give of themselves, their truth, without being watched. Like you are who you are when you're not being watched, when you're not, when you're not impressing anybody. And this is also a little bit of a statement to you is be authentic, be who you are. Authenticity is coming out loud and clear. Cancer, Cancerian got this message. Um, a few other people just be true 
to your nature. Maybe this is, could be reversed. Somebody seeing your beauty in you. Underneath all of the um, adornments that you put on yourself, they're seeing your true value. Believe in this person. Believe in them because they're a diamond in the rough. And there are two different kinds of special people in this world, Leo. There are the diamonds and then there are the people who can recognize them when they're in their rough form. Diamonds are made. They just are what they are. They're pure, um, ineffable talent. And then there are those people who sees them when they're dirty and broken and jagged and everybody else wants to kick them away for a broken piece of glass. There is that special person who sees that's not glass, that's a diamond. That's the most special substance on this planet. It's hard and it lasts and it's beautiful when it gets shined. And that somebody is either you or you're the actual diamond yourself. Either way, there's an identification this coming weekend of real truth and real beauty and an attraction to that in somebody. Ooh, Leo, adjustments are required. Of course they are. Of course they are. You have to adjust the way that you look at people. You have to adjust your ego. You have to adjust your expectations. You have to adjust your definition of what beauty is. Adjustments internally and externally. This will be for both of you though. It will not just be for you, Leo. This will be adjustments for them as well because this is a person who might want to not be seen. This is also a difficulty trusting or um, a sense of um, changes, changes that you didn't expect to come in the midst. So this is, in other words, being somewhere that you normally would not have been doing something that you normally would not do. So in the midst of an uncommon detour or an unexpected circumstance, you meet somebody of the level of true beauty that I don't think you even ever dared yourself to believe in. If you are curious about who this person is, or about more, wanting more information about them, that's in the extended below the who's coming towards you video. Um, sorry, I'm stuttering. In the extended link below. Leo, Virgo, 4718. All right, Virgo. What's the love coming towards you? What is it? The union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. And I've been getting this for quite some time. Channeling this energy of you actually finding that true partner. A partner that you have hoped for, wished for, manifested. Maybe you've actually even contributed or they've contributed to your healing and your health. And, and you becoming a person who you want to become. This is a happy ending, new beginning card. So Virgo, this is you're finding your mate. You're finding your soulmate. Or maybe you found them and you're just able next weekend to spend some quality time with them because you've missed them and they've been gone for a long time. You haven't seen them in a while. And when they come back, it feels like you're whole again. So Virgos, get ready for a lot of love and a lot of affection, a lot of sex and a lot of romance. This is definitely, um, it's not so much about heat as it is about connection and being with somebody who lights you up, who makes you feel complete. Um, yeah, yeah, you finally found someone, Virgo. Um, and now you can be in their presence. See how they're connected, how they're actually finally together. Maybe this opportunity has been buried for a very long time, like a seedling that has to just feel its way in the dark by planting its roots. Remember, Roots grow in the dark. They don't see, they don't know, they just grow. And that was happening between the two of you. Something very organic and very natural, but maybe unseen. So this could actually be, Virgo, a friend that's emerging as a lover. A friend that's revealing themselves as more or something that you want more. You finally recognize them as something more. Somebody who has been growing with you and helping you to grow. And now you are actually able to share your love with each other. You know, embrace each other in that romantic way. But also actually be together if you've been at a distance or you've been searching. Maybe this is the person that you've been searching for. This is the person that you have been manifesting and, and you know, writing out um, spells for. Whatever you've been doing, 
this person is coming into your life and you'll actually be able to be physically embrace them this coming weekend or a little bit afterward. Your hard work, what did I say? New moon in Capricorn. What did we, whoa, that's almost like, that just shook me because we just had a new moon in Capricorn, didn't we, Virgo? And I said it was cosmic Christmas. And Capricorn is an extremely favorable energy for you. This is you getting what you want out of love. This is all that you've asked for and all that you've manifested coming into being, coming into reality. This is your new moon wish, dream, manifestation coming into fruition this coming weekend or a little bit afterward between this, this coming weekend and next weekend. This is an energy of this person actually being real, 3D real. You hold them in your arms real. This is true. This is happening. This is coming into being. Your hard work is paying off. So this is telling me that you've either done a lot of work to repair your relationship with somebody, you struggled through a hard time, and now you guys are making up. Or this is an energy of you have manifested, you've worked hard to look for this person and you've done all the groundwork, you've laid all the right roots and now look, this is your blossom season. This is your springtime in the middle of winter. If you're curious or want confirmation about who this person is, who is coming towards you, that link is in the extended video. That link is below. So we go on to Libra. Libra at 51.26. All right. Libra, 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 Libra. Oh, I'm getting nasally. Let's check your energy. Some really, really beautiful energy coming through. Um, a lot of energy of releasing, whether it be your fantasy or your expectations or a relationship that is not who you are, but then a relationship that's not working for you, releasing and letting go and getting to your true self, who you really, really are. Let's see, Libra, I say this to you because you are the sign of balance. You are the energy of balance, truth, and justice. So it's like everybody else is experiencing this energy this week. Harmony. Harmony. And I know it's been rough for you. But this is, I love you. This is being able to hear the words that you never thought you'd hear or hear those words that you've been, or be able to speak those words that you have not been able to speak or that you've been dreaming of speaking or hearing and just haven't. This is that message of love coming through to you loud and clear. Could be through a song. Somebody could be singing to you. Somebody could be dedicating a song to you. You could be receiving a message in love through... Uh, a message of love is coming through to you this coming weekend. It's also harmony and balance. Harmony, harmony, the highest form of balance, Libra. You have finally found a way to balance all that you need, all of who you are, with who you want outside and to share your life with. You have find So if this was a relationship issue with somebody that you're in a long-term relationship with, you're finding that harmony with them. You're coming into balance with them. It's not about compromise. You're learning those notes. You're learning their notes. You're learning to listen. You're learning to play. They're learning to listen. This is about the music has come back to your heart and to your life. And what is music to your ears is I love you. That is a statement that you're going to hear and it's going to make all the difference to you, Libra, so that you realize it's not just all about them. It's not. They're about me too. You know, and they're hearing and listening and playing, and so am I. This is about harmony and beautiful balance. Hearing those words, I love you, and it being music to your ears. Because honestly, there was a sense of hopelessness. There was a sense, I'm getting a feeling of being really detached from even believing this could be true or real. And Libra, here it is. You are actually, you could actually be saying, I love you to somebody, and that be music to their ears. You're the delivery, you're the messenger, you're that beautiful angel that comes through that Venus energy, that Venus to Milo energy of the delivery of a message of love. Cupid, oh wow. Cupid is coming your way this coming weekend or a little bit beyond between this weekend and next weekend. 
Cupid is pulling back his bow because you see, even though this is a harp, this could also be a bow with many different strings. Maybe you've cast, maybe you've cast your arrows out many different times, many different arrows, many different tries. And this time it's finally landing. Why? Because this time you controlled the flow of that, that arrow with your vibrations and your vibrations are in harmony. So it's going to hit the right mark. It's going to hit the right target or the right target is finally going to hit you. Oh, that's really, really, that's really uh, like overwhelming. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. You're about to receive, you're about to receive something that you've always wanted. And this is you draw back your bow. You be Cupid. You draw back your bow. Let your love fly. I love you. And let that hit the ears and land on whoever it is that you're interested in or wants to be with. Because it's going to hit the right target and it's going to hit the right mark. But this is also you, you know, maybe being the target yourself and being the receiver of the right person. Finally finding the right person or finally being able to say the right things to get through to the right person. You know what I'm saying? Like confidence is your key to success. Libra, you have to believe. You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in your self-worth. But this is the thing. I feel like you're going to because this card implies that you're in harmony. You will, won't have that much trouble feeling good. You'll feel extremely good because remember I said this is your energy. That reading before I even picked up the cards that I gave, this is your energy. Your energy is about harmony. Your energy is about balance. And that is what this energy will be. It will be very complementary to everything that you are. So you will not have a hard time being yourself next weekend. You will not have a hard time allowing that harmony to come through. You will not have a hard time being confident and being successful. If confidence is your key, then this is a serendipitous moment for you because your confidence level will be high. It will be on point and it will hit its target. Now, who is that target? Who is coming towards you? That information is in the extended video and the link to that is below. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you do go over to the extended, but if not, Feel free to toggle back and forth between all of these zodiac signs. If you're cross watching, you're welcome to it. See what your loved one is up against. And looking forward to in the coming two weekends. I'll see you guys on the extended.